all right guys uh, hello again uh, today uh, we are going to talk about um, three different things the first one is the turn volume uh, second is the difference network and finally isochrons um, so let's just get started uh, so we want to show the turn volumes at a specific node so we will go to graphics turn volumes okay click OK here um, before that also I will show the node in here so let's assume that I want to show the turn volumes at this specific node okay so I will just click here okay and the turn volumes will show for me okay so for example this means that there is 1250 going from here to here okay let's take another one um, somewhere in the network so let's say in here okay so you can see that I have 290 going from here and going right okay uh, the graphic parameters for this turns can be displayed from here graphic parameters okay in this one in this example I'm showing the volume PRC okay. and remember that sometimes you need to go to label and hide the value if it is less or equal to zero okay and if you go here to turn volumes you can specify the text size the color um, maybe some other things for example you want it to be like your, your alignment for the volume should it be the only sum or you want the vert uh, or you just want the like a vertical but some so for example you want the the volume on the on the like a turn or the link and with some line showing the summation okay and here there is other some stuff that they are very similar to the um, network object that I have already explained before so so if I go to another uh, I, I'm just trying to go to another node that has um, a different um, turning movement um, let's say for example here okay or maybe somewhere in here okay that's a good one uh, in here I can see that there is 870 coming from this direction going right and 3340 going straight okay and that's why you have these colors of the bars um, and again you can for example now I have about four or five um, nodes are open for the turns I and just can and check all and they will disappear okay um, I think that this is the basics for the turn volume there is nothing more I think so now let's go to the second part of this tutorial which is network difference or net difference in network okay I assume that you have two scenarios um, one of them you have removed or modify something and you need to see the impact of these changes so before of before I start I make sure that I have already allowed the assignment so I will go to calculate procedure and I will run the assignment okay then I will save this one I will save this version file okay and I just click save so now I have this network with a loaded assignment probably I want to show the volumes so I will go to the bars I open this tree and then I have the volume PRT and I'm coming here and I say preview okay so probably now I have the numbers uh, what I'm missing is I need to draw the bars okay so I'm just small modifications with my graphics and I'm done okay so this is my volumes here with the volume capacity ratio on the bars and what I'm going to do is <coughs> I will delete the link okay in this example I'm going to delete this link in here okay 
and I just click delete and it will tell me that the assignment will be gone I click yes so there is no link here okay so let's remember the location of this one there is no link here anymore so what I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to save this version okay as a, like a, another version okay so this one going to be two okay and now I'm going to run the assignment in here for this new version okay so I have a new assignment that is very different from the other assignment because I have removed the link here so all the path um, will change okay so now I want to see the impact of this link or maybe let's say some other factors so what we're going to do is difference or net difference network okay and we will go to file compare and transfer networks and version comparison okay I'll click here now I need to add my other version that I want to compare okay so we be slower we go to add then um, version file it will ask for the version file that I need to compare with okay so I'm going to bring the old version file okay and then here's the code just give a name or just give a code for this version file so you can differentiate between them okay so let's say for example this is the old version i'm just going to say old okay uh, here it will tell you like do you want to change the link bar automatically to difference no i don't and like load comparison network in the background no okay so i'll just click okay here this window it will ask you what things you want to compare okay probably i'm interested um, in links okay so i will just go to links in the keyboard just click here and click links okay and make sure that your volume prt is clicked okay probably it's there so volume prt is there okay so i'm just going go to click okay i'll not be bothered by the other factor okay so it is here you know this is the version the other version i'll click close you can edit you can update okay anyway for now i'll close it nothing yet i i didn't show anything yet now i need to, to go to my graphics just right click here and go to bars display okay here i'm showing the volume prt okay so you can show, you can see that there's volume prt for this network for this specific network and I are, I'm already showing it. If I want to show the difference, see, you can see that this is old. This is the name I gave previously. And this old is the old network I have. So if I click here, it will tell me that, what do you want? This network minus old or old minus this network. Or you want a percentage difference between them. Okay. So I want to see, for example, what happened. So probably I will go for the old minus this network. Okay, I want to see the impact on the previous network. And I'm going to click analysis period here. Okay, and probably I want to change my labels here. So if I go to the fill style, I don't want to show, I'm showing the volume capacity rate, uh, sorry, volume in here, okay, with some labels. But probably what I'm going to do, I'll just cancel and I will remove the uh, fill classification okay i just want it to be one color and i click preview okay and look what's happened here okay this is the volume difference okay because i have removed the link okay so for example there is an increase of 600 and there is a decrease of 900 okay uh, of course you can show other factors other attributes from here time travel time um, um, many different things okay but in here i'm interested with the volume okay so this is this is like a, a very you can say uh, maybe we have did a small change we have just closed the road for some time and we need to show how the model or how the assignment will work so how the path will change okay Okay, so now we will go to the final um, section of this tutorial, which is isochrons. Okay, and isochrons are something that will show the travel time 
relative to some location okay in the network so what does that mean uh, let me uh, let me show you I'm going to remove the the, the bars the, the difference in here okay just untick them they are still there but I just hide them okay and let's say um, I have these nodes okay and I want to show for example if I click on one node what is the travel time in relative uh, by location for this node in the whole network okay let me show you first we'll go to graphics as as usual I told you you can access graphics by three different uh, ways okay either you go here and just like right click anywhere you know it will come control G it will come again and graphics um, edit graphic parameters okay I like to work with the with this one okay so we'll go to 2d display okay and here you can display your ice cream draw the layer okay I'm going to click nodes okay you can click like stops you know sometimes you want to see how far or people can access to your um, stop for the transit anyways so here I will choose ice crunch time PRT okay this is my my time series or my time um, um, classes okay you can play with some graphics that you want a color gradient image quality okay just graphics you can play with them and here where you can redefine the classes okay you can add more and by this one you can change the color okay okay and I'm killing clicking okay so now what what this shows it just shows nothing actually okay because I didn't select any node yet okay I have this legend which shows the time if it is like light color okay light brown it will tell you like it's less than one minute it's very dark brown it will tell you that it's more than five minutes the time from this specific location so I go to graphics isochrons okay and in here I make sure that I'm selecting a car transport mode okay node and T current this is my choice T current I'm tested in T current okay and I'm going to click on this node okay and look at this this map okay it will tell me that you can see obviously that time okay to access or to go to this node is somehow okay from this area is very light color which just takes you between one maybe up to maybe three minutes okay you can change your color and as far as you go out from this node you can see that the color is getting darker because the time is getting longer okay let's take another um, um, uh, no, another location and you can see what will happen okay so I'm going to initialize okay I'm going to click a node that is very far from the network at the end of the network okay and you can see that there is a shift and the colors okay because this is the same procedure that as far as you go the color will increase by and to be darker okay so around around this around this node okay everything is light okay, that's why because this is my engine how it works and as far as I go somehow okay the color is getting darker and darker okay of course you can play with them with your graphics and colors again okay maybe another location see how things are moving and they are changing um, okay so this is so this is it for this tutorial I hope you got useful stuff from it and if you have any question please um, ask me thank you